This is Moonstalker at that place for walkthroughs. Ruby Kuzland is woken up and ready for a new day. She's determined that they should journey to Denerim in order to replenish their supplies. Yes. Of course. Indeed. Here's an ambush was set up for the group. There's an assassin leader on the hilltop. Ileana, pin him down. Roland, take on that canary mercenary. Sten. Knock down a canary mercenary. Ruby? Shoot the assassin leader. Or shoot the canary mercenary. Turning dueling on. Dueling on. Go! Oh. 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 Okay, the canary's down. Now there's a wolf here. Both of you kill the wolf. Ruby, you start shooting at the uh, archer there. Liliana, what are you doing? I want you to shoot him. You'll get no mercy from me! <laughs> you have no skill, only desperation! Okay, Liliana just went up a level. Okay. Shoot at the leader. Looks like she's doing a pinning shot. Okay. Sten, you kill the witch. Roland, you kill the witch. Let's see some blood! <laughs> There. Down you go! Stan? <sighs> Why weren't you indomitable? That's my fault. I should have told you to do it. Get that witch around. What should I do? <laughs> Here you die! <laughs> Which is down. Okay, Stan. Oops, you're in trouble. Let's put it to sleep. On your Come on! Stan, take a potion. Roland, take a potion. Ruby, kill the canary mer kill the Mbari. Where's that Mbari? Right here. Is it time to kill something? It's a good day to die. Stan, take a potion. Oh, you can't yet. Okay. Disgusting creatures. Let's make 
Are you insane? He is no common bandit. None of them were. Their weapons and armor are of fine make, and they are well trained. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Who are you? <laughs> Someone who regrets taking you on. I was told it would be an easy job. Kill the little red-haired girl. Deal with the others as we pleased. Kill the... You came to kill me? Yeah, he probably means you. Yes. Who sent you? Why am I wanted dead? <laughs> I don't pay to ask why someone wants someone else dead. I just need to know what to do and where to get my money. Ha! <laughs> money. I'll be lucky to get away with my life, it seems. <laughs> Maybe we could work something out. You like the idea? Speak quickly. I've no real quarrel with you. It wasn't me that wanted you dead, but I know how you can find the one who does. Don't just stop there. Tell us. I have some directions written down on how to get to the house. It's in Denrim. Yeah, it's the best I can do. Thank you. Now leave. I never want to see you again. I think we should just kill him, just to be safe. But she said I could... Leliana's wrong. It's Marjolaine. It has to be. Why now? Maybe someone saw me. Maybe she's finally found me and wants to finish what she started. We should go to Denerim to confront her. Perhaps it's time to settle this score for good. Okay. Let's um put a couple points into dexterity. It's not all that high. Lock picking definitely. Now, I made cunning nineteen because she needs twenty two for her next lock picking skill. And I do want someone to be able to open things. Hey, send one up too. Port into strength. Need three more for 200 sweet. Stunning blows we can give him now. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. That's a passive skill. Doesn't cost any uh, stamina for him. Through. All right, all right. Now, Ruby, you know you need to gather stuff. You need supplies. Don't get upset with me. Where's that witch? Surely she has something to plunder. No? All right. I 
and we'll continue on to Denerim. If we have time, I would like to look for Marjolaine. We have a score to settle. On good time, my dear. You were in the Chantry. You are a priest? No, no. I was a lay sister of the Chantry. Which means? I lived and worked in the Chantry, but I did not take any vows. So you dabbled in priesthood then? Oh, no. The lay sisters don't have the same sorts of duties as priests at all. So you were not a priest, did none of their duties, and took no vows, but you lived among them? Yes. You were a house guest of the Chantry? Um, sort of. <laughs> Stan, you just don't understand Magic her culture. to serve man and never to rule over him. Against his children. Blessed ones. They shall find no rest in this world or beyond. I'm he... getting to that bar. He the slim cauldry will only appear if your main character starts as a rogue or if you have some other uh, character class for your main character. If you have pickpocketing ability. Now, even if you start out as a rogue, do not speak to him until you have pickpocketing ability of level 1 at least. Because that way you can get all the quests from him. And I don't think Ruby has pickpocket ability yet. So she won't speak to him yet. <clears throat> You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. So you're isolationist? Um, isn't that against Chant the Chantry's laws? We harm no one, I assure you. And we enforce the Chantry's laws among ourselves. All we seek is a life outside of the Templar's shadow. Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. I'll take a look at these requests. Thank you, my friend. <coughs> we have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. Blood warning. Have you seen me? Scrolls of Bannister. Scrolls of Bannister worth five sovereigns, by the way. Oh yeah. All right, all right. The big city. I always wanted to come to Denerim. Daddy would never take me. Thanks, Ruby, to herself. You here to report another crime? I swear we should just cordon off the entire district. Oh, uh, can I help you, Warden? How do you know who I am? Your likeness was passed around to the senior guardsman at the palace. I must say, the sketch didn't do you much justice. Uh, don't worry, even if I believed the official story of what happened at Ostagar, I'm no fool. If I asked my men to apprehend you, they'd all run and cry big sobby tears in their courtesans' bosoms and leave me all alone to be skewered. <laughs> Don't disturb the peace in the market, and that's well enough for me. Is the market district really that bad? The lower market isn't deemed important by the captain of the guard, even less with Al Howe in charge. So when I finally get the new men I request, I get the delightful surprise of discovering their lords such and such as illegitimate, untrained, moronic whelps. <laughs> but lords keep sending me more of them. 
It's decent pay, no expectations, a uniform. So I have a legion of bastards to protect the market from pickpockets, stabbings, and whatnot. And all how specially picked men are the worst of the lot. The Arl and I have a rich history. Tell me about his men. With the bastards, I just have to worry about dicing the odd bit of drool or yelling at them too loudly and hurting their poor feelings and then getting chewed out by their noble fathers. But I swear, the Arl's men are more criminal than the miscreants we occasionally arrest. Some of them are the criminals we have to arrest. So if your lifeblood isn't draining in the gutters as we speak, don't bother reporting it. Actually, do you need any help? What? You're serious? I mean, yes, yes, I could use help. I've got a pretty popular uh, establishment that's crawling with mercenaries. If I send my boys in, someone might get, maker forbid, hurt, and I'll have to explain to their noble fathers that being a guard is actually dangerous. What do you need me to do? The name of the whorehouse is The Pearl. Beat down any mercenaries that are out of line and send them a message. I said, beat down, not kill. Let me make that really clear, not on fire, or exploded, or make a nose, whatever type of grisly death you can dream up. Sorry. Used to giving orders to my boys. Just leave them breathing and I'll be happy. Sign me up, Sergeant. Thank you, Warden. Happy hunting. Ruby likes hunting. So, Terran Loghain is the new regent. Isn't that a good thing? I heard that he may have had something to do with the King's death. I thought Darkspawn killed the King. That doesn't make any sense. It's probably political nonsense. We'll be lucky if they don't burn down the entire country fighting over the throne. Don't believe the lies. Friends of the Grey Wardens, assemble. The Hidden Pearl holds the key to resistance. The Griffins will rise again. Interesting notice posted there. Dragon Colts. Hmm. Been a lot of dragon cults throughout history where dragons are worshipped as gods. All right, all right. History of the Chantry, Chapter Three. Yes. What are you doing here? Who are you? My name is Waylon. I am the assistant of the scholar Brother Genitivi. This is his house. Who is this Brother Genitivi? He is an eminent scholar and researcher who serves the Great Chantry. When you first came in, I was, was hoping that you had news of Brother Genitivi. Wishful thinking, it seems. What do you mean? I haven't seen Brother Genitivi in weeks. He sent no word. It's so unlike him. Genitivi was on the trail of the urn of sacred ashes. I fear he has gotten too close to the truth. What do you think he's discovered? I don't know. He was very excited when he left and said he would be back with all the answers. Perhaps the urn has been lost for a reason. I pray for Genitivi's safety, but hope dwindles with each passing day. I, I tried to send help, but some knights came from Redcliffe looking for him not long ago. I sent them after Genitivi, and they too have disappeared. They have, may have been detained. I'm sure they're fine. I hope so, friend. I hope so. I shall take my leave now. Good luck. Thank you. Make a smile on you. Okay, we're going to put on a ring and then reopen our conversation. Leliana, surrender the ring. That's a good girl. Dusk ring, plus three to cunning. So now the cunning of Ruby is 19. I don't know if that'll be enough. We'll soon see. Ah, oh, greetings. Uh, was there something else you needed? 
Tell me more about yourself. I am merely an assistant to a poor scholar. I fetched his tea and warmed his slippers by the fire. Occasionally, I would help him organize his notes. Sounds like a real poofy job. Um, what do you know about the urn of sacred ashes? The legend states that Andraste's ashes were stolen by her followers and hidden away. Brother Genitivi knew more about it, but he was secretive about his discoveries. Can you tell me more about Brother Genitivi? He was an elderly man, kind, a little eccentric. He was very devoted to his quest for the urn of sacred ashes and spent many hours buried in his books and his notes. His research was his life. I think I'd like to know where Brother Genitivi went. I suppose a mere scholar's warning will not deter you. So be it. All he said before he left was that he would be staying at an inn near Lake Kalinhard, investigating something in that area. What exactly was he investigating? I don't know. All I discovered from going through his research was that he was staying at the inn. Cunning. But you just said that he spoke to you and told you that. Y yes of course he told me but I also went through his things to see if I could find other clues to his whereabouts. Intimidate. You sound nervous. Hiding something? I know it sounds suspicious but I swear I'm not lying. I... It's been a very difficult time for me, and sometimes I don't know what to think or feel. I want Genitivi to be rescued, but I don't want more people to be hurt. You understand, don't you? Yes, of, of course. Follow in Genitivi's footsteps if you must, but be careful. All right. What's in that door? What are you doing? You're not supposed to go in there. Why not? I'm sorry, but that room is not for guests. It's full of books and papers, and I'd rather they were not disturbed. Oh, I won't mess them up. I said no. Genitivi was a very private person. You're hiding something. I want to know what it is. No, don't touch that door! Something is... <laughs> Ooh, ouch. Get him, Stan. Come and oh. get it. That's right, you little punk. That's what you get for burning my clothes. Thanks, Ruby, to herself. <laughs> okay. Now that numb nuts is out of the way. Alright, alright. Okay. There's a corpse there. The body of the real Waylon. Alright. Got it. Genitivi's research and the steel symbol of Andraste. We'll take both. Oh, Leilana, look what I got for you. Leilana likes religious symbols. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. She's not just interested now, she cares. A lot of shops in Denerim. Wonders of Theta's shop. Denerim. Book. Geography of Thetis. Hmm. Interesting. What is Pashera? Perhaps it will be safer to study the floor. <laughs> what is it, Stan? 
The History of the Chantry, Chapter 4. Faith and Beauty. The Quinari. Maybe the scrolls would upset him. Anyone who travels far enough to the north will eventually encounter the Kunari. White haired, bronze skinned giants, a head again taller than a man, with frighteningly calm demeanors and a sort of sparkling fire behind their eyes. For quite a long time, people believed that all Kunari were male, or that their men and women were simply indistinguishable. It was not until the Blessed Age that diplomats from Ravain were allowed, however briefly, to visit Parbalan. Parbalan. And there they discover that Canari females do exist in abundance and are quite easily recognized. The Ravani say that Canari have a certain kindness to them, or at least a conspicuous lack of cruelty, although I did not observe the creatures closely enough to evaluate their character. Huh. I guess Canari are people, Dixian. The ANR. This is the prison of ANR. Um. Okay, some kind of prison for the Chantry. Got it. Look at what that woman's wearing. Is she drunk, or does she just have bad taste? Which way you're looking or we'll rip your damned eyes out and piss in your skull! Another round for me, men! The captain sends his regards. Allow me. I could do that for you. You sing a great deal. Yes, I do. My spirit. All right, all Would right. Would you like me to stop? I didn't say that. Was that part of your check? It was a ballad about a highwayman and the tavern girl who loved him. Could you not tell? All your language sounds the same to me. I thought you were singing of vegetables, actually. Got it. Allow me. I could do that for you. I'll do it. What can I get you, stranger? Right, I'll show you around.
What can I get you, stranger? What can I get you, stranger? What can I get you, stranger? Traceable. Garnets. Oh, we're not really going to do that. I'd rather just sell the things. Hmm. I guess we're done in here. Save it. I recognize you from Ostagar. And trust his blood. You're a Grey Warden. Duncan's apprentice. You killed my friend and good King Kaelin. I demand satisfaction, sir. Logan's charges against the Wardens are false. And you'll watch your tone with me. So you would compound slander on top of treason? You dare smear Terran Logain's word? What did you mean by satisfaction? An uncommon traitor deserves no common death. We will meet on the field of honor and my blade shall see justice done. Meet me in the back alley behind the Nod Noble Tavern. There we will duel. So be it, Tin Man. Make peace with the Maker, sir. These are your last moments. We shall see. Are you ready? I am no savage. I would not take advantage of you. I am ready. Let us fight one on one as befits noble people. May the Divine look after you, sir. You've held yourself with honor. Begin. Can I get you a ladder? You can get us one. Yeah, let's throw a little poison here. Back. This will be fun. Ooh. Oh, ouch. You fought with honor. Sir Landry couldn't have asked for a nobler death. Yeah, why don't you take this head over there and put it on a pike, would you? Nice mace. Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts, direct from Orzammar. You won't find better. Door of a blood mage's relative. We're painting it to warn them. Hmm. Yes. I'm sorry to tell you that... Oh, wait a minute. Would someone like to handle this for me? I didn't know your husband very well. 
but I'm sure he was a good man. He has fallen in battle. I feared this day would come. Wait a minute. We got a little job to do for As the there is but one world, one life. Thieves one guild in this town. He came at me. It's not my fault. Why did he come at me? Don't cry. Can I get you a ladder? Yeah. So you can get off my They've back. They've got to learn not to mess with me. Us, right? I mean, he's he's just going to disappear, right? Right. I'm going to make some poison. We want 99. Well, first let's unlock that. Get rid of the venom. We're not using it anymore. We're just using death root. Want 99 ready to go. There we go. And healing poultices. 99 of those. Oh, it's crashing. Oh, it almost crashed there. Let's save it. Whew. That's close. Twinklies. Hold down the tab button so you can see stuff glow that can be activated. I won't take the blame for this one. This was bad from the start. No way he was here to deal. Are you related by Alistair by any chance? Hmm. I'll get Thanks. on it. I ain't sticking around to see how this turns out. You're welcome. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. All right. Stand be indomitable. Liliana. Yes. Sing a pretty song. I shall. Sir Garland. Um, shield cover, missile attacks, or I guess that's it. Let's check his tactics. Customs, got nothing there. We'll go defender. Hmm, okay, that's fine. Good. All right. So everybody be on alert, on edge, ready to rock and roll. Because we're going out into the, the mean streets of the big city. Whew, 
Whoa. -oh. Hmm. Better scout and it. Thus I cloak my naked villainy. There's this trap here. Okay, release the dogs of war. And double weapon sweep. That hurt. Sorry about that. There's one down. Let's find some more that I wounded. Put some poison on the blade. Let's see what you're made of! Breaking a sweat already! Ha! Good job, people. Hey, Lanny, why don't you go collect the loot? That's a good gal. As you like. Course. Skill armor, steel. Mm -hmm. That scamp Kylon sent you, right? Glad he hasn't forgotten about us. The mercenaries are right there. If you'll hear about other things, you speak up. Someone needs to put you in your place. Book. I'll get on it. Kanan, Kanan, and the world. Yeah, she's pretty good. She off with you now, and be glad I only took from you your gold. Okay, we're level nine now. I think we're going to go with cunning. Actually, we don't need to yet. We can still go dexterity. Next time, we'll need it up to 19. <laughs> Fools. Turn around and walk, stranger. This affair is for white falcons only. By order of the guard, vacate the premises. Get a load of this guard. You're telling us what to do? Nobles want solid, reliable soldiers, not riffraff. Uh, you have a point there. Man, let's clear out. Don't, don't want to get on the king's bad side, do we? Tell Kylon I owe him one.
Got it. Make a chantry Templars, whoever saved Allow me. me. I didn't I mean to kill him. You. Can you Thanks, make this go away? Anna. Love letter, health poultice. Excellent. And a dead body. I, I could have handled it. Thanks. I think I need to go hide somewhere. Good idea. Oops. I was hoping I'd find you. I heard about the Pearl. Oh, sorry. I don't know how, but you got them to leave with no fuss at all. The Pearl's workers will... Nobody gives orders to my men but me. A little lesson in respect is in order. I see. Don't bother sparing these louts. Things are about to get messy. Whoa. Uh, oh. Poison. Let's go with momentum. Oh, oh, Roland's down. Better take a potion. actually voluntarily attack you. Are they just stupid? Here's the payment I promised. I might have more work if you're interested. But I'm heading back to the market district. Back alleys are just too dangerous for me. Good stinking. As my little son used to tell me. Moonstalker son, not not Ruby's. Got it. Hey uh, uh Silverite Axe. Nice. Plus one fire damage, <clears throat> plus twenty percent fire resistance, plus three percent critical chance, neg five percent cold resistance. Good weapon. We'll have to give that to Alistair. I think I'm gonna bring Alistair. Roland keeps going down. Roland, you're kinda weak. Sorry, bud, but it's the truth. Hmm, nothing up here. The city map. Can I get you a ladder so you can get And let's go to the market district. Get her armor again. Plus three fire resistance. Plus one dexterity. Plus five percent fire resistance. Plus three fire resistance. 
Hmm. Armor really isn't that good. I need something better. Good to see you back. Need any more help? I've got complaints in the Nord Noble Tavern that some mercenaries have invaded. Nothing violent has happened. The cell swords are probably just disturbing the nobles' rarefied conversation. Just drum the louts out of there. The barkeep doesn't mind some blood. Or sport, as she called it. Captain said Denerim won't miss a few dead mercenaries. Do what you will, and good luck. Thank you, Sergeant. Uh, Roland, you probably need to heal up, don't you? Yeah, okay, we'll keep you with us for now. There you go. Use your... Shield cover, I guess. In case someone shoots an arrow at you. Yeah, I definitely need Alistair. He's got some cool armor and weapons, but Alistair's a better fighter. Got it. Oh, forgot to do something. I oh, will do, take care of this fight first. If that's what they want. <laughs> oh, look who's watching. Edwina. You hear from Kylon? Those are the Crimson Oil louts right there. You want to see some blood, eh? Okay. What are you looking at? We're the Crimson Oars. The Crimson Oars? You haven't heard of us. We're mercenaries from all over the world. We have won many battles, and tonight we drink before the next. Hmm. What exactly have they done? They glare at my patrons. They're loud. They're rude. And they smell. For these great crimes, what do you want done? I want them out. If they resist, force the barbarians out. The patrons don't mind a little sport of it. Ors are much better places to spend your coin. We happen to like the ale better here, the wine too. Less vomits on the floor. So long as we're paying, they're serving! <laughs> Wouldn't you prefer a bar with more women? Friendly ones? Ha <laughs> You may have a point. Bar woman, you and your women are too old and shriveled. Too many <laughs> damn clothes, right, boys? Ha ha ha! we go to the docks. Let's find us some winches! Charming. Alrighty then. Good job clearing those louts out. Hmm. Now we need to. Take care of a little business. I'll get on it. Um, let's turn off momentum. Edwina sends her thanks for getting rid of the Crimson Oars. Mind you, she's disappointed there was no fighting. Here's payment. You've helped out a great deal. Are the work of our maker's hand. From the lowest slave to the dump site. This is as good a spot as any to dump a corpse. Just another bag of garbage flowing out of the city. Dump the bags. Continue. The maker does not bread sinners. Oh, would you stop? Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. What can I get you, stranger? I finished a favor for one of your interested parties. He nods discreetly and makes a note of the recognition Ruby's owed. 
to gold. What can I get you, stranger? Anyone need help? Maybe with something that's strictly legal? Sign of safe passage. Brazilian forest. Okay. Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Hmm. Party camp. Where I must click something wrong, I guess. I don't know. All righty then. Your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Let me see your wares, Wooden. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the good. Yep, I'm sure I will. Hmm. So that. I'll get on it. That's for Alistair. Put that in there. So that. Put that in there. Some of these gifts away. Okay, we only are using twenty three slots now. That's good. All right, Alistair, here's a odd nice axe for you to use canary sword looks like it might be better than what he's using I think that the stats down here sometimes don't change because of programming glitches but I think they do make a difference in the game it's just they don't show up here when you're trying to see what they do all right just take care of that let's go sell some of the junk and first we'll get that 
runestone out for Alistair. Enchantment? I want some enchanting. Enchantment! There you go, Alistair. Enchantment? Well, let's see what other gives oh, you. Certainly, I can do that for you. Good. Right. Sell that. Sell that. And sell that. Now these items I'm not going to use because uh, they, un they, they cause an imbalance in trying to become more friendly with people. It's a cheat in my opinion and kind of ruins the, the flavor of the game for me. If you become close to somebody you should earn it. Not make it too easy. Now the gold necklace I just purchased is from the original Dragon Age Origins, not from uh, downloadable content. All right, hmm. save. At your service. I have some questions. Of course. If you have reason the chantry, have you never... Never... never what? Had a good pair of shoes? You know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. Have I never seen a basilisk? Ate jellied ham? <laughs> have I never licked a lamppost in winter? That sounds painful. Now you're making fun of me. Make fun of you, dear lady. Perish the thought. Well, tell me. Have you ever licked a lamppost in winter? She's eaten oysters, but no, she's never licked a lamppost in winter. Good. I hear it's quite painful. I remember one of the younger initiates did it on a dare once, and there was pointing and laughing. Oh, the humanity. I myself have also never done it. That. Not that I haven't thought about it, of course, but... You know. Now she wants to be nice to Alistair. Her, her inclination is to make fun of him. But she's trying to build a rapport between them. So she'll she'll be nice and uh, leave, him an, leave him an out here. You've never had the opportunity? Well, living in the Chantry is not exactly a life for rambunctious boys. <laughs> They taught me to be a gentleman, especially in the presence of beautiful women such as yourself. That's not so bad, is it? Now, she could say, you think I'm beautiful, but she knows how shy Alistair is and didn't want to put him on the spot. So she'll say, no, not really, no. Good. You'd want a gentleman to court you, wouldn't you? If, if you were to be courted by someone, that is. Only if it were the right gentleman. I... Yes, of course. I see exactly what you mean. Enough. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's go. Hmm. She must have said the wrong thing. You're so touchy. Jeez. Roland, you're boring. Stan, you got anything interesting? Yes. Um, I wanted to discuss something that you mentioned. Speak, then. That's enough for now. Then I suggest we move on. Uh, what were you doing in that cage? Sitting, as you observed. Very funny. Thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hmm. You're impossible. I know. Parshera. Was there anything else? Let's go. As you wish. 
<laughs> he really approves of that. Plus seven. Wow. Maybe it makes him feel good when he can uh, have the upper hand and and repartee. Have to keep that in mind. Um, Liliana. Looking for little old me? I'd like to talk to you about something. Yes? What's on your mind? Do you miss anything about Orlais? I miss Valroyo. Unlike other cities where the people are the lifeblood and the character, Valroyo was her own person, and her people little more than decorations. There was always music in Valroyo, streaming from the many windows, quiet refrains and triumphant choruses, and always floating above that all, the chant, coming from the Grand Cathedral. It was magnificent. It sounds wonderful. Oh, it would take me a day or two to talk about the many splendors of Orlais, her golden fields, her lush meadows. Of course, there are good things and bad things about Orlais, like anywhere else. Sometimes I miss it dearly, and sometimes I'm glad I'm rid of it. And you will laugh at this, but I miss the fine things I had in Orlais. What sorts of things? Dresses, fine dresses and furs, and shoes, of course. One can't mingle with nobility with bad shoes, you see. Orlais is very fashionable. Almost ridiculously so. <gasps> but the shoes. Living with those ridiculous trends was worth it for the shoes. Oh, I love shoes. When I left Orlais, the fashion was shoes with delicate tapered heels and embellishments in the front. A ribbon, perhaps, or embroidery. In soft colors, of course. It was spring. Oh, that sounds so lovely. I had my eye on a pair my shoemaker was working on. It was covered in pale blue silk with amber beads on the toe. The shoes made in Orlais were exquisite. Not at all like these clunky fur-lined leather boots you have in Ferelden. Ugh, just look at them. I know, right? So ugly and, and shapeless. They're sturdy shoes. But sometimes a girl just wants to have pretty feet. Oh, I could talk about shoes all day, but we have things to do, don't we? That we do. Um, Morgan? I await your command. I'd like to discuss something personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Never mind. I await your command. I'd like to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> How did you become a shape changer? I was not born such. It is a skill of Flemeths, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Your mother's been doing this for a long time, then? Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Can you change into other human forms as well? The form <clears> of an <throat> animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Can anyone become a shape changer? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. 
Do you spend a lot of time as an animal? There were nights when the wilds called to me, tis true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. And what do other animals think of you when you've changed? They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus they cannot speak, even were I to ask. I've never heard of magic like that before. No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the Circle of Magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. That's good. Such traditions need to be preserved. I am surprised you think so. Still, it is a pleasant thing to hear. That's all I wanted to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Well, maybe tied to a flagpole and tickled. <laughs> what a bizarre thing to say. But enough of such talk. Let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Moderate magic, plus four. <laughs> Oregon. She cares. Wow. Yes? I'd like to discuss something personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. What's this? <laughs> Tis a rather odd discussion you seem to desire, leaning in so closely. Do you object? Not unless you stop. Cold in my tent, all alone. And what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> Why, it just so happens that I find you quite warm. Let's see this tent of yours, then. So you shall come to my tent? But whatever shall we do in that tent? tiny little space together while we wait for it to warm. I'm sure I'll think of something. Good. Then let us waste no more time with foolish talk.
I see the stories they tell of Grey Warden endurance are not exaggerated. <sighs> Do you really need... Hmm. Do you really need to talk? Oh, finished with me now, are you? Well, you do not get away so easily as that. I will have my way with you until I am satisfied. Out of a sense of fairness, if nothing else. You have a sense of fairness? Not really. More of a sense of perversity, truth be told. <laughs> Simply know that I have no designs on your independence. I wish only to do what I desire, and if that coincides with what you desire, then so be it. And should you decide not to continue our misadventure, then so be it. Very simple, is it not? Gee, thanks for spelling it out for me. <laughs> I do like to keep it simple. Just for you, of course. Come then, let us be <laughs> off before the others begin to stare. Okay. Morgan approves plus nine. That was a big boost. Okay, I think everyone's been talked to that needs to be talked to. Let's get a good night's sleep. Ruby. Long ways to go. Who shall I take? Alistair? Yeah. Sten? Yeah. yeah maybe Pookie. Liliana, Moria. Who to take? Oh. Let's take Alistair. Let's just take a basic group for now. Might change it up when we get where we're headed. Actually, I think I'm going to save it here. It's been a long video already. Uh, this is Moonstalker at that place for walkthroughs with Ruby Kuzlin, Dragon Age Origins. Signing out.